Hi Twin Flames, this is Real Talk here about the difference between soulmates and twin flames and should you choose a soulmate or a twin flame? Hmm, that's a very big question. If you're watching this video, this is probably a question that you've had on your mind, on your heart. And I'm going to talk about um, all the different options and give you the option to choose. Um, so let, let's get started. So what is a soulmate and what is a twin flame? So a soulmate is somebody who accompanies you um, in this lifetime, maybe one or two past lives, but not for eternity. Um, your soulmate relationship will not last for eternity. Um, they're just, you know, a person that feels good in this lifetime. Um, there is love there, but it's based on a different system of love. It's not unconditional love. It is a system of transactions in some way, shape, or form. And that's not necessarily bad, but it's more like, um, you know, the love languages like, oh, I have to love this person with this love language so that they'll love me with that love language. And we'll join each other's families for um, the holidays or, um, oh, my family likes this person. They fit right in. Um, more importantly, your soulmate may feel really good um, your soulmate may feel like pleasant. Maybe you're attracted to them physically. Maybe the pheromones match up. Maybe your astrological signs match up. Um, maybe you and your soulmate talk about spiritual stuff. Maybe you go to church together or temple together or they pray or they talk about kundalini or you've had like synchronicities, um, experiencing synchronicities with them. Yes, you can experience synchronicities with a soulmate. Um, a karmic partner is a type of soulmate in that they are, um, you know, in your life for a particular period of time, but they're not your eternal partner. So all these characteristics of a soulmate um, might sound pleasant, right? It might sound kind of good, like, hmm, not bad. Um, a soulmate will not bring up all of your core traumas or um, misalignments with love to heal. And for some of you, you might be like, oh, oh yeah, I want that. I don't want to bring up those traumas. That would hurt, right? Well, if you don't bring up those traumas, if you don't have them come up, they're going to be sitting in your subconscious, kind of like oozing around in there, like, to spring up someday in, in some sort of like fit or um, breakdown. Like they'll come out. They'll, they will come out. Like you've had it happen if you're watching this video. You've had um, some ascension symptoms and you're wondering like, gosh, my twin flame is seeming to like reflect all of my core traumas and it, it what seems as, you know, like an alarming rate. So what do you do? Well, you may love your twin flame and you may have this um, kind of triggering come out. Maybe maybe it's so bad that you're like, I, I'm scared of my twin flame. Like, oh, I want to touch them with a 10-foot pole. Let's, let's go to the safe soulmate. Well, your soulmate's not actually safe. It's an illusion. Your soulmate is um, it's your brother or sister in God. They're not designed to be your perfect partner. Your twin flame is. Well, you might say like, oh, but all these like triggers or stuff are there. Okay, yes, but guess what? You can heal them. When you heal all of the triggers coming up or enough to the degree that you can be with your twin flame, it is such a divine relationship. It is a relationship unlike any others. And we call it a union because the truth is you're not two. You're one kind of super being. You have a shared consciousness with your twin flame. Um, one consciousness, one overarching consciousness. You make the same core choices as your twin flame. So that means if you're choosing the quote unquote easy road with your soulmate, you're not choosing your whole divine self with your twin flame, your twin flame is going to do the same thing. Some people try to do this. They're like, well, my twin flame is choosing someone other than me. I am going to go have a soulmate relationship for a little while and just kind of like wait it out and like wait out like 
when they're ready to be done with their soulmate relationship. And then I'll be done with my soulmate relationship when they're done. And I'm going to call their soulmate relationship a karmic partner. That makes me feel better. I know, I know some of you do that. Do not think I'm like trying to diss on you. I'm not. Um, this is just kind of like helping you to see what's really happening and that you can heal it, right? It's not just to like point at the wound and be like, oh, yep, there's a wound there. Yeah, we're going to identify the wound, but you can heal it. You heal your union with the mirror exercise as Jeff and Shalia teach. You don't want a bootleg version of the mirror exercise. You want the real deal. And that is the way that Jeff and Shalia teach it. They didn't invent the mirror exercise, but they perfected it, right? It's like, um, if you ever had Chinese dumplings, I'm sorry, this just came into my mind. If you um, go to Din Tai Fung and have Chinese dumplings there, they've perfected the dumpling. And of course, you might say like, no, my grandmother has perfected the dumpling. But yes, okay, you're right. But you you want something that wasn't invented by somebody, but like has been perfected by someone. So try Jeff and Shalia's Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover book. It's available on Amazon, or you can go into my description box, go to Twin Flames Universe and find the link to the book there. But this is going to help you and support is going to help you. If you know or are kind of awakened to your Twin Flame journey, and then you start to like feel like it gets too hard and then you kind of like wander over here to try to get a soulmate to make you feel better. It is not going to feel better. It isn't. It's not. It, once you know who your twin flame is or once you have awoken to your twin flame journey, no one but your twin flame will feel good enough. Why? Because you were designed to be with your twin flame spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Yes, physically. You don't want second best. Do not settle for scraps. Don't settle for a teddy bear replacement twin flame. Don't do that. Yuck. <laughs> I say yuck because like I, um, no one, no one would be good enough for me except Josh. I'd rather be alone, right? I'd rather, and I'd be okay with me, but I want to be with my one true love, right? I'm not going to be um, sassy with spirit and be like, fine, if you don't give me Josh now, I'm just going to grab a teddy bear soulmate over here and be with them. No, that's that doesn't feel good to me because in order to be with your twin flame, um, you must master self-love. You must master loving yourself. You cannot get love from someone else. You cannot get love from a soulmate even. You may play along with the illusion that you can get love from them, but that is not going to help you. That will not last. Soulmate relationships are inevitably doomed to dissipate. They will not last. It will maybe last if you decide to play the game with your soulmate of, um, you know, adhering to social norms and marriage. It might last for several years or even decades if you can withstand that. I couldn't. Like, I didn't even know who my twin flame was. And I could not withstand being married to someone who wasn't my twin flame. It just, I'm like that, right? Like, I'm like, mm, this person is not my one true love. And once I met Josh, no one else, no one else would do. I've had periods of time when Josh and I were experiencing separation when I just didn't want anyone else. Like I, I just didn't, um, I claimed him and there were times when, um, I was focusing on my own healing, right. And focusing on healing codependency, focusing on healing neediness and all that's out of alignment with love. And you do heal it. You can heal it with the work that I'm practicing, um, that I love to support you with. And, you can come into harmony with your twin flame. You can live with them. You can work on your divine life purpose with them. It takes um, some practice, but it does not take long. It doesn't. It really doesn't. It just involves surrender and choosing to be with them. Above all others, you choose them. So um, 
I hope this video was helpful. <laughs> you can see which side I'm on. And, um, and it's safe to claim your twin flame. Safe to claim your one true love. And if you're in a situation such as the one, um, the ones that I described, you know, your twin flames with someone else or you are or someone else is approaching you and your twin flame hasn't contacted you in a long time, book an introductory session with me. Let me help you there. Let me help you distinguish because some part of your heart is kind of like, this doesn't really feel good. I don't really want to talk to that person. I don't really want to go on Tinder. I don't really want to do blah, 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 right? You want your perfect partner. I know you do, because who wouldn't, right? Who wouldn't want their perfect partner? Yes, there's going to be triggers, but those get to be cleared. You get to clear those triggers, and you get to feel the most free and the most confident that you've ever felt in your life, all because your twin flame is bringing up your triggers to clear. So this was Real Talk. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop a comment under the video and book an interest session with me. Link is in the description box. I'll see you in the next video.